So today we're going to analyze uh, FBI themed ransomware. Uh, before we do, uh, just remember we're over here at ringzerolabs.com. If you have any files you'd like for us to analyze or have questions on malware analysis in general, go ahead and hit us up on the site and we'll be happy to answer any questions. But here we have uh, the FBI themed ransomware. It comes looking like a uh, MP4 video, but as we can see it's actually an executable. And if we take a look at it in PE Studio, we can see that it is UPX packed. So we'll go ahead and unpack that. I will just use a tool to do that right now instead of doing it manually. And we'll unpack, easy as that. And let's save it. Here's our unpacked version. Again, PE Studio. And we can see that inside of the file there is another ex executable file. So we can, before we do that, take a look at the strings. And do, do, do. Not a whole lot going on. Um, does have uh, a user path of fuzzy and uh, studio project of uh, fbi.pdb so that's the uh, debugging information and uh, fbi.exe is the actual name of the file that will be dropped out but let's look at the embedded executable real quick and to do that we can go to 010 and to search for another executable we can just type in program because that will be part of the DOS header we see that there's another one down here that's right here so there's our MZ header so we can go ahead and just copy all the way to the end of the file and paste that out and save it And just to verify it's a valid executable, we can run a template and the template passed, which means we have a good program. So we can exit out now. And we can take the dumped file, put it in PE Studio, just to examine it. You can see here that it's a .NET uh, file. And it has 29 hits in virus total. And most things already pick it up as a ransomware or screen locker. Um, and this is very similar to another file I anal analyzed, uh, Elmer's Glue. Uh, it was another .NET ransomware that locked the user's screen unless they paid a certain amount of Bitcoin. Um, and just like that one, we can see here that the unlock keys are embedded in the file. And we can see that by going to the DNSpy to disassemble the .NET and take a look at the first form and scrolling all the way almost to the bottom you can see here that there's a button click event and it compares it against three values those three values we'll see here in a moment uh, but for now let's go ahead and run this in a sandbox just to so show you what happens And this is it. So they're claiming to be from the FBI and that you've done a bunch of bad things. And in order to resolve everything, you have to send $150 worth of Bitcoin to the provided email address. So FBI fine at protonmail.com. Uh, you can actually get past all this with those three keys that I just showed. All right, so there's the first. There's the second. Right. 
There's the third. All right. So there we go. So as soon as you get all three keys in, it'll present you with this message um, telling you how to actually remove the malware since you supposedly paid the fine. And yeah, so it's pretty easy. They just put the program in the startup folder. So you can just go in there and delete it. Um, and to get around the, the lock screen like I was just doing, you just press Alt-Tab a bunch or your Windows key and it'll actually bring up the, the window down here. And you can go into your startup folder and remove that uh, fpi.exe. Um, other than that, uh, if you all have any questions on this malware or how to remove it, there is a video up on YouTube. Um, also, if you go to ringzerolabs.com, there is a, a full write-up on this file, which links to the video on how to remove it as well. But if you all have any questions on this malware or any other malware, hit us up at ringzerolabs.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions.